In the summer of 1994, there was a lunch. Uh, me, John Lasseter, Pete Doctor, uh, the late Joe Ramp, all sat down. So at that lunch, we knocked around a bunch of ideas that eventually became A Bug's Life, Monsters Incorporated, Finding Nemo. And the last one we talked about that day was the story of a robot named Wally. All right, we're back at the table. Does anyone have any more movie ideas? Yeah, yeah, I got one. Um, so you know how we did toys with feelings and uh, cars with feelings and feelings with feelings? So, so I was thinking maybe what if we did buildings with feelings? Oh, okay, so, so they can like walk and talk when humans aren't around. Well, well, no, they're, they're just buildings, so they can't talk or move, but they have feelings. Okay, why don't we put that one on hold for now? Um, what about you? Do you have any ideas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, people love characters with small bodies and big eyes, right? You know, just look at Porgs or Baby Dory. Right. So I was thinking, what if we just get rid of the body entirely and literally only have eyes? And, you know, it, it could be about, I don't know, growing up or whatever. All right, I'm, I'm liking your guys' ideas. They're, they're good. But, you know, people see Pixar movies because they want to cry. So maybe something with a little more emotional pull. Ooh, 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 I got something. I got something. Um, so what's more emotional than a movie about our emotions? A movie about our emotions emotions. So we got like a regular girl, zoom inside of her head, we see her emotions, zoom inside one of their heads, we see their emotions. Inside, inside out. I'm already crying. Come on guys, I know we can think of something new and original, we just gotta think. We could just do Toy Story 4. <laughs> 